once you go through a controlled process like what we are doing, um, Rene, you are right. That's not necessarily going to be um, at least these four cases a cause for concern. Um, they are part of the repatriation process, so it is anticipated that you can have some of those turning out to be reactive for SARS-CoV-2. But interestingly, also today marks 100 days since we first announced our first case. Um, and that, that's important because 100 days in any kind of situation is important because it allows you to, to go back and, and, and do a quick snapshot review, which we have been doing all along in terms of what has been happening and what can potentially happen. Um, granted, we went from 24 to 28. We have seven active cases. We had never identified four active cases till I believe the Easter Monday. That's uh, more than two months ago, two and a half months ago. That's the maximum amount we, we um, identified in one single day. Of course, those cases were all linked to cases that we had in, in Belize, so to those two mini clusters, if you will. Um, the four cases we identified are, two of them are related, two are from the same family. That's um, a couple that came in through the northern border last week, Friday. Um, they did go into mandatory quarantine at Lamanai Landing in Orange Walk, and that's why the numbers appear as if they are from Orange Walk. But uh, again, that's where you geographically are situated. Uh, the other two persons were from the repatriated flight on Friday, 